as you can see demand and supply curves are intersecting each other at a price point of hundred dollars and a quantity of five units of fans it means that at hundred dollars price the quantities supplied is equal to the quantities demanded the point of intersection of the two curves is called the equilibrium point where the customers are happy with the price they incur to buy table fan and the suppliers are also happy with the price they receive for selling table fans let's spend some more time in understanding equilibrium basically equilibrium refers to a situation in which the price has reached the level where quantity supplied equals quantity demanded equilibrium price the price that balances quantity supplied and quantity demanded on a graph it is the price at which the supply and demand curves intersect equilibrium quantity the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded at the equilibrium price on a graph it is the quantity at which the supply and demand curves intersect what happens if the prices are not in equilibrium state that is the prices are either higher or lower than the equilibrium price well good question let's try to find an answer by using demand and supply graphs as can be seen if the prices goes beyond the equilibrium price say 150 dollars the customers are not a happy lot quantity demanded by customer 1 and customer 2 will decrease to 2 units and 1 unit respectively so total quantity demanded at price point of 150 dollars will be 2 plus 1 which equals to 3 units at the same time the suppliers are ready to sell higher than the equilibrium quantities that is quantities supplied by supplier 2 and supplier 3 will increase to 3 and 4 units respectively this is the self interest dimension again so total quantity supplied at price point of 150 dollars will be 4 plus 3 which equals to 7 units the difference that is supply of 7 units minus demand of 3 units results in 4 units which is the surplus saddled with the rising inventory and lower sales the suppliers will try to reduce their prices to increase their sellable volumes and to reduce inventory and in the process they will move towards equilibrium price great got it it is really simple to understand but what will happen if the market shifts to a lower price level say fifty dollars if the prices go below the equilibrium price the suppliers are not a happy lot as their margins are under pressure in this scenario they will want to produce lesser units per supplier that is quantity demanded by supplier 2 and supplier 3 will reduce to 1 and 2 units respectively so total quantity supplied at price point of $50 will be 1 plus 2 which equals to 3 units the customers of course will be happy a lot this time willing to take up 7 units in total the difference that is supply of 3 units minus demand of 7 units which results in minus 4 units which is the shortage because of rising demand from customers the bargaining power will shift to suppliers as a result of which they will start charging higher price in this scenario the prices will generally rise towards natural equilibrium of the market to sustain the self interest of the suppliers can you please summarize the concepts of surplus and shortage sure when a price is greater than equilibrium price then quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded there is excess supply or a surplus to accommodate this 
the suppliers will lower the price to increase sales, thereby moving towards equilibrium. When a price is lesser than equilibrium price, then quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. There is excess demand or a shortage. In that case, suppliers will have an increased bargaining power and would raise the price and the market would move towards equilibrium.